So this is an example of what I do at work. I use Java Swing to develop railway simulation. And this is the image of a train moving along a track. And you can see that the train is just stopped at a station there. Now you might be wondering how we do this sort of thing with Java Swing. So this is Java Swing graphics and that's what I'm going to cover in this video. So I've got the application that we made before. I'm going to cut this right down to just a frame and I'm just going to paint onto the panel of the frame. So I'll cut the application right down to just a frame. Okay, so now we're just cut down to just a basic frame with a window title. I've just kept the listener so that when we close the window, it closes the program instead of just making the window invisible. So now let's take a look at the paint method. So I'm just going to override the method paint that takes in a graphics object. And the graphics object has got all sorts of methods. For example, if I type G and press, we've got draw rectangles, draw arcs, draw lines, draw images, draw strings, etc. So I'm just going to show you an example of draw line. So I'm just going to say draw line that takes in X and Y start coordinates and X and Y end coordinates. So if I say start is 50 by 50, end is 75 by 100. And when we run, we can see we've got a line which goes from 50 by 50. Uh, that's 50 across and 50 down by 75 across and 100 down. So it's very simple to just draw a line. So I'm just going to set the background of the, of the frame to be black. So with the frame I do get content pane. If I was doing it to the panel directly I wouldn't need to do get content pane. But for the frame I do. And then I can call set background. And I'll say colour black. And that should set our frame to have a black background. There, that's black. Now I'm going to implement some shapes in the paint method. Okay, so the shapes I'm going to draw by calling the methods in the graphics object draw line, draw rect, draw oval and draw arc. I just need to set the colour of the graphics. So I'm going to do set colour. I'm going to do colour red for the line. And then I'm going to set the colour green for the rectangle. The oval I'm going to do blue. And the arc I'm going to do yellow. There we can see I've got, I'm just going to move the arc down. So we can see I've got the line, the rectangle. Obviously if the width and height of the rectangle were the same, it would be a square. We have an oval there. Again, if the width and height were the same, it'd be a circle. And we have an arc with a 180 degree angle going from 0 to 180. Now with these draw methods we also have fill methods. So I can fill, I'm just going to do the same thing but 100 pixel offset to the right. And I'm going to do fill for the rectangle, oval and arc. And we can see that the fill methods does the same thing, but instead of just doing the outline, it would draw a solid object. And then another thing we can do is we can play with the pen that we're using. So at the moment we're doing one pixel 
when we're drawing things we're doing it with one pixel width this object we can cast it to a graphics 2d object and we can call set stroke of that And a basic stroke is a type of stroke where we can just give it the width of the line. So let's say 5f, it takes a float as an argument. And now we'll be drawing our lines with a width of 5 pixels. So we've made the lines thicker there. We can also, uh, using the extra parameters of stroke, we can do dashed lines and lines with. Um, beveled edges and, and this sort of thing. So we can look in the uh, Java doc to see what we can do with, with that. Okay, so now I'm gonna draw some text. We can do that with just draw string. So I'm just going to draw string, my string, x location 100 y location 500 and there we have my string now I'm going to set the font of the string to be a big large font I'm going to get the existing font and derive a new font with a size of 120 so I'm setting the font, whatever the font is, but size 120. And now my string is nice and big. But say I wanted to center that in the window. If I wanted to center one of these rectangles or one of these ovals, it's quite simple because I'm giving it the coordinates, the X and Y coordinates and the width and height. So we can work out where the center point is on that. So for example we could say the width of the screen minus the width of the object divided by two and that would be the position where we want the x center to be but with a string it's a bit more difficult because we don't know how big it's going to end up being so for that we use font metrics So for font metrics, I can give it the uh, string that I'm uh, going to use. In this case, it's my string. And we can get the font metrics from the graphics and get string bounds. And that will give us a rectangle 2D. And now that is the size of the font as we draw it to the screen. So now, for example, if I draw a rectangle, I'm going to draw a rectangle in the same place as a string, which is 100 by 500, but the width, I'm going to use the font bounds that we've just got from the font metrics, and also the height as well. Okay, so with a bit of messing around, I've managed to get the box to go around the string. So we can now use this if we wanted to recenter the string on the screen because we know how big the string is because we've used the font metrics object. I've got some other videos in the projects playlist like the Mandelbrot Explorer, the wireframe graphics video, and the sign scrolly, also the horse racing game. Uh, all these videos use this technique to draw custom graphics to Java panels. So if you want to have a, have a look at how you can do animations and um, have more control over things, you can have a look at those videos. So that's it for now. Thanks for watching.